this battle on June 27th at the StubHub Center uh, will be, I believe, a memorable uh, classic match. We received uh, news this morning that I want to share with you that the fight between Timothy Bradley and Jesse Vargas will be for the WBO World Welterweight Championship. So there is an added incentive in this fight to win the belt. Uh, Tim had the belt for a long time. He wants to win it once again. There's a lot of great welterweights out there that the winner can defend against. Uh, so this is all very, very exciting. There will be a televised undercard match, which we will be announcing uh, shortly. Uh, there is, uh, particularly this time of year, no better place to do a fight uh, than the StubHub Center to watch boxing under the stars. We always get a very enthusiastic crowd there. And one thing is for sure, unlike uh, in some arenas, uh, every seat in the StubHub Center, including the standing room, is a good view of the action in the ring. I want to thank our sponsor that's really on a roll, uh, Tecate Con Character, uh, which will be the principal sponsor uh, for this event. Uh, Takati is really on a roll, uh, starting with uh, uh, the May 2nd uh, Mayweather Pacquiao fight, <coughs> then Canelo Alvarez and uh, James Kirkland, and finally the Triple G uh, Roman uh, Triple E to Gonzalo double header. Saturday uh, at the Forum. Uh, so Takati is bringing everyone uh, the best in boxing. Uh, our Unima shows sponsored by Takati have been knocking them out of the ballpark. Uh, we, I myself, uh, on March uh, 9th, uh, was up in Fresno uh, where we had a sellout crowd of 10,000 people. Uh, watching Jose Ramirez uh, fight uh, Robbie Frankel uh, with a tremendously enthusiastic audience in an event sponsored once again by Takati. And I know Takati is really uh, thrilled to be sponsoring uh, this event uh, at the Stub Up Center. We also want to thank uh, HBO. Uh, which all you guys have been commenting is on a roll, presenting the best uh, fights uh, around, uh, better than uh, fights uh, seen any place else. Jesse Vargas is a product of Las Vegas. Uh, he has uh, demonstrated uh, how even if you're a very good fighter, you can, uh, with further teaching and further instructions and further discipline, you can really improve uh, on how good you are. And Jesse will be the first to admit how much of a better fighter he has become uh, over uh, the last year or so. And the major reason for that is he's being uh, uh, trained uh, by one of the great fighters of all time, uh, Roy Jones. And Roy has done a splendid, splendid job of uh, training Jesse. And I'd like to call to the microphone uh, one of the, the real greats uh, of our time, uh, Roy Jones, and he's also here with uh, Jesse's strength and conditioning coach, Adam Flores. Roy? Thank you, Mark. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Um, to me, 
you guys couldn't be getting a better fight because you got not only two of the better people and better boxers, but two of the absolute best guys ever to be in boxing. And uh, to me, if I had two guys in boxing that I want to model my kids after, it would be Timothy Brad and Jesse Vargas. So not only are you getting a good fight, you're getting two wonderful personalities. Uh, I can't say nothing bad about you know, getting this. It's a, a fun event for me because if you get an opportunity for two guys that are really good guys and deserve true credit to get in front of one another and get what they deserve and get people to pay for watching them do what they do best. So I look forward to a wonderful fight, a wonderful night, and I know this is a little bit off the beaten path, but y'all see a little bit of girl right there? Stand up. Stand up. I don't know what they're going to name. That little girl can fight her behind off right there. What's your name? Sinisa Scott. That little chick can fight. I saw a fight said it by mistake. My gosh, you talking about somebody that can do it? She can do it. <laughs> forward to it and like for me, you know, this thing it, it never it's never personal, it's always about business. And like I said, to me you put an ask for two better guys to be in front of one another. And I can guarantee one thing with these two because of them being such good professionals at what they do, you guys will not be let down. I know a few of them have let us down over a few years, but this time you won't be let down. So tune in, have a great night. Timothy Bradley Desert Storm, Palm Springs, California, one of the premier fighters uh, in the world today. He's fought all the best fighters around, always brings action, always is involved in an exciting fight. He's here with his team, uh, James Rusley, his strength and conditioning coach, his father, coach trainer, Ray Bradley, and I'd like to bring uh, to the microphone a man who needs no introduction, his trainer, long-time trainer, Joel Diaz. Joel. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for being here. We are blessed again to be back. Uh, I want to thank uh, Bob Aaron, Top Rank, HBO, and everybody that puts this uh, together for us. I want to thank uh, Jesse Vargas, uh, Roy Jones for, you know, just uh, going to share the ring together. You know, like uh, Roy said, these two guys are two professionals, uh, great fighters. You know, they both uh, going to bring the best out of themselves that night. Uh, Tim Bradley wants to be a world champion again. He wants to be up there among the best and fight the best. Uh, Jesse Vargas is a uh, a world champion, undefeated, young, young prospect, um, great, talented kid, and he wants to be among the best. So, uh, all I can tell you guys is this: uh, I know they're both uh, going to be in great shape. They got their mindset to win that fight. So, at the end of the night, the people are going to walk out of there happy to see a great performance and a great fight. Thanks, everybody, and I invite everybody to come see Tim Bradley and Jesse Vargas, June 27th. Thank you. Jesse Vargas sports a unblemished record, 26 wins, uh, no defeats. He is currently the WBA champion at 140 pounds. He, I know he's told me the difficulties he had getting down in weight uh, to 140 pounds. So now he can uh, strengthen and bulk up and come in at 147 pounds. Well, this is a great opportunity for Jesse. Uh, he's a terrific young man, a real credit to the sport and real credit to the city of Las Vegas. Uh, so please welcome Jesse Vargas. Thank you. Good afternoon. Well, first off, I want to thank everyone that made this fight possible. I want to thank HBO. I want to thank Bob Aaron, my promoter, Todd DeBoe, my manager, Cameron Nook, and my trainer, Roy Jones, for, for giving me his time, taking the time in for my camp. So I know he has a busy schedule, but uh, thankfully I have him on my team. I have him on my side, and uh, he has a great game plan for me. I want to thank Tim, Timothy Bradley, Tim, uh, Team Bradley as well, for the opportunity. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. 
very, very happy. This is the opportunity that I've been waiting for for years. Ever since I was a kid, a kid I dreamed of this opportunity. It's here now, and I'm training very hard to come out victorious June 27th. I know that it's, it's a tough task in front of me, but nothing's impossible. Uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to my friends in Las Vegas, uh, Clark County, and and you're gonna, you're gonna. I think everyone is expecting a great fight June 27th. We know that Timothy Bradley and myself always give give her our all in her, in the ring. We have line at the the heart of the line. I think we both do. That's why I have so much respect for Timothy. You know, I know that he always digs deep. But that night, June 27th, we're both gonna have to be very big, and we'll see who who, uh, who comes out with the victory. Expect a great fight. Thank you all for your support. Tim is fighting Jesse Vargas. He's trained by Roy Jones, and Tim represents a threat not only to Jesse but also to Roy Jones because as you know Tim has become a commentator <laughs> for the true network right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Tim's record 31 wins uh, one defeat, one draw. Uh, he has been around for a long time, always given 150% in the ring. One thing about Timothy, nobody could ever accuse him of a lack of trying, for not getting in there like a true warrior. Anybody who saw his fight with Provodnikov, uh, understood from that fight what guts means, what it means for a fighter to have intestinal fortitude, which Tim showed that night. So please welcome the former world champion, looking again to become the champion, uh, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Thanks, Bob, for those kind words. Um, first of all, I want to do that. All honor and praise to God for allowing me to be here today, stand before everybody. I want to thank everybody that came out today to this press conference. Of course, I want to thank my team, Team Bradley. I want to thank my, my team outside, uh, my wife. Um, I'm going to thank you so much for just being there supporting me and uh, dealing with my mess and how crazy I am. <laughs> As a fighter, man, it's no joke. Um, I want to thank my brother, my brother-in-law, Chris for uh, you know, taking time out of his life to help me out in my journey. Um, wow, yeah, back again. I, I can't wait to get back in the ring. Um, I want to thank HBO for bringing me back once again, man. I'm telling you, the premier network, HBO can't get any better than this. Um, did I miss anybody? Stub Up, I want to thank the Stub Up for bringing me back. 2013, the fight of the year. I think this fight might be candidate for fight of the year. I'm already calling it right now. A um, lot of lot of you out there, you know, see this fight on paper and you guys are like, oh, you know, it's an easy fight for you, Bradley. And I'm like, y'all crazy. <laughs> what you mean easy fight for Bradley? This fight is not easy whatsoever. Every fight is a threat, especially a young fighter that's talented like Jesse Vargas. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm nervous because this is a kid, undefeated, world champion, and I was one undefeated, undefeated, and a world champion. And I had an opportunity of a lifetime to change my life drastically, you know, in one night. And I did that. So Jesse Vargas, he's looking to, to do the same thing. So I know I'm training hard. I'm training extremely hard. I'm training like if I'm training and fighting, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao or, or Marquez. I'm training just as hard, if not harder. And uh, I've gone back to my roots and what, I, what got me to this position. So I'm doing a lot of the training techniques that I used to do that I didn't do before, you know, that I stopped doing once I got on top. So I'm trying to get back on top. This is my opportunity. Um, you know, I just found out this morning, Bob just told me just now that I'm going to be fighting for the WBO World Championships. So I have an opportunity to get my belt back. And I set out, I said that I was going to get my belt back and I will get it back on June 27th. You know, I know i got a tough task ahead of me, but I'm preparing myself 150%. For this, for this matchup against Jesse Vargas. But, uh, you know, I want to invite everybody to come on out. You know, I, I call stuff up the war ground. 
Because every time there's a fight there, there's always a war. And uh, I think this fight's gonna be a war. So uh, I wanna thank Roy and uh, you know this team up here, man, Jesse Vargas. Um, you know, I've been a fan of Roy since, Roy since I was started boxing. So it, it's, it's, it sucks and it's sad for me <laughs> to be going up against like a, a fighter that I admire. I, I'm serious. I admire Roy, man, and, and um, you know, I, I wanted to be like him as a kid, you know, I wanted to fight like him as, as, as I was a kid, so, you know, he was, he was one of my idols, so, you know, it sucks that he's on the other side, but it is what it is, like he said, it's, it's business, no hard feelings, and it's all love at the end of the day, so thank you everybody for coming out, and uh, stay tuned, June 27th, don't, don't miss it, thank you. Reading from the script there. Tickets are on sale tomorrow. I don't know why we're not waiting for the week of the fight to put them on sale. <laughs> Prices are very reasonable. 150, 75, 50, and 25. So just figure out how many tickets you could have bought you could buy with the price of one ten thousand dollar ticket for May second, you get a, probably get a better flight. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, we just you know, fans have to be able to afford the ticket prices, and so this scaling of the uh, arena at one hundred fifty, seventy five, fifty, and twenty five makes it affordable for real fight fans, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, you, uh, tickets are available at the StubHub uh, uh, Center box office, Monday through Friday, and uh, you can call 888-929-7849. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to this event. We're gonna uh, have the televised undercard, announced sometime uh, early, this week, next couple of days. I want to thank HBO. I want to thank you all for coming. And I look forward to another great uh, fight taking place in the state of California. Thank you.